So the pandemic would have been with us two years now. Two months later, March is basically when everything kicked off. Two years. And the reason I'm starting with this is because two years have flown by and maybe we feel like we've always been in this situation. But the truth is, actually the time has flown. Like two years ago, if you were 30, now you're 32. Before when you were 20, now you're 22. I have a point to make to you guys. A lot of the times we think to ourselves, we need to make crazy changes within a year. We need to make our diet spot on, we need to work harder, we need to start businesses, we need to earn lots and lots of money within one year. And I'm gonna share with you guys exactly how I wanted to plan it. And I'm gonna share some tips with you. So make sure to stay until the end. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video. I remember when I started my own recruitment company when I was about 26 years old, I told myself that by the time I get to 28, I want to be in a situation where I'm not too worried about money. I think when I was working a job, I used to always think like, oh, next paycheck, I need the next paycheck. You know what I mean? Like I always used to stress about it. I wanted to be in a situation where I don't stress about the next paycheck again. That was my aim for 28 when I was 26. I'm 29 now, by the way. Alhamdulillah, I would say at around the age of 28, I was in a situation where I didn't worry about money as much. Of course, the pandemic did happen, caused a little bit of stress, but Alhamdulillah, we made it out. I also told myself, at the age of 30, I want to be in a situation where I can, whether I do or not, but I can semi-retire. Alhamdulillah, I would say we're probably roughly on track for that. Of course, as many of you guys know, I want to make Hijrah next year to Pakistan. So obviously that's part of the semi-retirement plan and therefore I want to spend more time on my religion and my deen. But why am I sharing this with you guys? At the age of 26, my plan was for the next four or five years. That's what I was thinking. I knew I needed to plant the seeds when I was 26 years old. Start planting, start doing the little actions, the little movements, the, the little things, the steps towards the bigger plan. And many times, a lot of us want to make huge changes, huge plans within 365 days. And realistically, that's very hard to do. I mean, you're not going to work very hard for 365 days. So then when you do not work hard for 365 days, you have an off day, you have a bad day. It's very hard to pick yourself up from it. Why? Because you expected yourself to work hard every single day. You told yourself you were going to be the craziest, hardworking, biggest hustler. So I want to share this with you for the year of 2022. Look, I want you guys to start implementing the small changes rather than trying to change your life within a year. Don't think to yourself that you're going to take over the world within a year if you haven't even started. What I will say to you is start implement the little things. Maybe if your diet is terrible, you have a lot of fizzy drinks, and now you wanna start eating like rabbit food, add out the fizzy drinks, start drinking a lot of water. That's big progression. If you wake up late, you know, 12 o'clock every day and you feel lazy, start waking up at nine o'clock. Don't tell yourself you're gonna wake up at five o'clock in the morning every single morning because that's not realistic. You have to start implementing little, little things. And by the way, trust me when I say this, actually committing to the action is the most important thing. Many of us will not commit to the action. Many of us will not make the most of our time. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam even tells us to make the most of our time, our health. And so we have to understand that, look, today, alhamdulillah, you're able to do something. Maybe tomorrow, maybe next year, you won't be able to. I mean, subhanAllah, maybe this year, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts an illness, a disease or something upon you where you can't do anything. Make the most of your time. Today is January, I, I think it's the third today. I don't even know. Well, I don't even look at the calendar, but the point is in March, April, you'll be thinking, SubhanAllah, time has flown. I really need to start working. I really need to start making moves. Summer will come, then August, September. August, September, you start thinking, well, I'm close to the end of December. I'm close to the end of 2022, and that's it. My brothers and sisters, you have to make the most of time. I will also say, spend time on trying to make your hustles and your businesses and money. I think that's very, very important. But remember, we are Muslims. And if you guys are not spending time in seeking knowledge, ilm, bettering yourself in the deen, then do that. Because when you start doing that, Allah will put barakah in your money, your wealth, your businesses. Allah will make things happen that you thought never were possible. So trust me when I say this, make dua to Allah. If you are not reading the Quran, at least start with an ayah of the Quran. Start with a line because that is big progression. Consistency. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the consistent deed. And so even when it comes to the religion, do something consistency. And when it comes to the business side, the money, the wealth, do consistency. 
consistency will beat everything. I heard an analogy recently and it was beautiful and it was showing that actually, you know, a, a gush of water cannot do anything to a large mountain, for example. However, trickles of water, trickles of water can cut a mountain in half over centuries of years. And so the point being is consistency is no doubt the best way. And my advice to you guys is don't push yourself so much where you're going to change completely this year do little steps. You are capable of doing it, but it's all down to you. Make sure you make the most of your time. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Make the most of every single month. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you. We got big plans for the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe. Trust me, it's going to be a banger this year. I want you guys to be part of the whole journey of time before Hijrah to Pakistan. Barakallahu feek. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this year a good year for you and I. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allow us to seek ilm and knowledge for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and giving it back to the Muslims. May Allah rabbul izzah put barakah in our rizq and allow us to be successful business people so we can benefit the Muslims and our families. Barakallahu feek. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.